Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Welcome back everyone. Look at our recipe book that we've been building in Google Sheets. We have completed a lot of formatting and we've recently added the links to our recipes. Now we're going to fill in this column that we set up a while back with images of our recipes. This will help us as we scroll through our recipe book looking for something. You can also imagine that there are other times with other sets of data where images will be helpful. So let's dive right in and look at how to insert images. We're going to start with our very first recipe here, baked apple pork chops with green beans. Our first step is to click on the cell and then at the top, we're going to click insert. From the menu, we're going to select image and you will see that there are two options, insert image in cells and insert image over cells. We're going to look at what happens with both, but for now we're going to use the in cells and look at all of the ways that you can pull the actual image. When you select either option, this window is going to open. You can pull images from your computer with upload. You can also use your computer's camera to take a picture, which you may or may not use as often as the others, but it is a pretty cool option to have. There is also by URL, which means you can pull the URL from somewhere on the internet. And we're going to test that one out in just a little bit. There's also the option for photos, which refers to Google photos. And then we have Google drive. If your image is located there. And then last there's a Google search. If you want to search for the image for the first one, we're going to use upload. I have this image on my computer, so I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop it here. And there it goes. Notice how it snapped the size of the image to fit perfectly in the cell. That's one of the positives of using insert image in cells. I'm actually going to delete this and look at another way that we can add this image. So again, I'm going to click insert. I'm going to click insert image in cells. This time I'm going to do by URL. So for this recipe, I have opened this image of the recipe so that I have the URL. There are multiple ways to get images from sites on the internet, such as a blog or the recipe. One way is to right click on the image and you'll have one or more options. For example, open image in a new tab is the option that I used to get this image here today. And then I can copy the URL that I have at the top of my web browser, or I could have selected copy image URL directly and save the step. So copy your URL and return to your Google sheet. You're going to paste in that URL and click insert image. And there you go. It looks the same, right? Using the URL and uploading directly from your computer are probably the two most common options. So again, let's do our second recipe. You can go directly to the place where this recipe is located. We're going to right click on the image that you want and then click copy image URL and return back to Google sheets or we're going to click insert, insert image in cells, select by URL, and then paste in that URL, click insert image. And there we go. It's really nice how it snaps to resize it to fit the cell. Let's look at a couple more options for adding images. So I'm going to delete out this image again and let's try again, go to insert. And let's look at photos. Remember photos refers to our Google photos. If you happen to be using those, you may have images that are in your Google drive. So you can click on that and you can search for your image or you can navigate through your Google drive to where that image is located. So you're going to double click the image or you can click on the image. It turns blue and click insert. And there we go. So that image came from our Google drive this time. So let's look at our last option, which is to search Google directly. I'm going to use our green bean casserole for this because it is a rather common recipe. The others may not have really shown up in a Google search. So again, I'm going to make sure I am over the cell where I want the image to be. I'm going to click the insert menu and then insert image in cells. And now I'm going to go over to Google image search. So you can search just like you would on Google. And as I do that, I'm going to select whichever image I want. 
Notice it turns blue and then I can click insert. And here we go again, it snapped it so that the whole image fits in the cell perfectly. Okay, so we've learned how to add our images. So far, we've added them in cells. As the name implies, in cells means the image will be inside of a cell, just like text is inside of a cell. If it's inside of a cell, that means we can change the size as we change the column and row sizes like this. Notice how the images are changing size with the size of the cell. It also means that you can apply alignment to these images so you can align them to the top, bottom, left, right, center. What is really great about this option is the image will snap to the size of the cell. You don't have to worry about changing it as you go. Now, if you do want to control the size more directly, you can use over cells. So let's look at this option. I'm going to add this image of our baked apple pork chops so that you can compare the two. Notice the options are the same. So I'm going to drag and drop the image that I have on my computer. The image loads over the cells, which typically is the original image size. So it does tend to come in rather large. I can now pick it up and move it and resize it. Now it does hold in place as I scroll up and down or left to right on my Google sheet. It does stay in place. So that is nice. I say that, but there have been times when I've opened a Google sheet weeks or months later. And on that very first time loading, the images are just not in the correct places. And so I do have to X out and come back in and that usually fixes it itself. Just know that with this option, it can be a little bit more glitchy versus using in cells. So just keep that in mind when you're deciding between which option to use. Now, also because it is over cells, that means as I resize my columns and my rows, the image doesn't move. I want you to think about your project and your needs. That could either be a good thing or a not so good thing that the image doesn't move as you adjust your rows and columns. One last thing, remember that grouping that we did a while back? Let's click that group icon that looks like a little minus. So it temporarily hides our ingredients and directions columns. Notice the size of the images snapped down to reflect the smaller view of our data, which is our recipe book. In this case, we can click on the plus to open our group back up and see our recipes and notice that the images snapped back to that larger size. So again, having these responsive images like this is probably what makes using in cells so great as opposed to using over cells. Okay, everyone, now our recipe book looks like a real recipe book. You know how to add all of this information. You know how to format, you know how to add the links and add images. And up until now, we only had a few recipes here in our recipe book, but now you have the skills to start adding all the recipes that you want. So between now and the next few modules, I want you to begin adding as many recipes as you can. The more you add with greater variety, the more you'll be able to do in our later modules where we will learn to organize it and work with it. So go have fun and then meet me over in the next module. This video is part of our complete course on Google Sheets. To watch the complete course, click over there. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. And to watch additional videos, click over there.